Hello again, uh, bringing you another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. This time we're going to talk about how to quickly build a house uh, using Cinema 4D R16's new house builder tool. So here's kind of like a little floor plan of a house um, that I put together. It's very basic um, and very easy, but um, anyone who's tried to do this in uh, earlier editions of Cinema 4D's found that it can be a little time consuming, can be a little difficult to um, to just quickly build a, a house and, and obviously Cinema 4D can be a valuable tool for um, development and planning and real estate so uh, we're gonna jump right into it here uh, the best way to get going is under visualize we're gonna go to presets tools and helpers and there's this little house builder to tool and all we're gonna double click on is the house builder and BAM we've already got a floor plan with uh, walls and a floor so over here to the left on our house builder we see that um, you know if we wanted to add a ceiling we could but we don't need that you can go x-ray um, and then eventually we can solo in on rooms um, and then we've got the height which we can control we've got the wall thickness that we can control and floor thickness which we probably won't need to mess with too much. Um, so, what do we do with this? Well, pretty easy. We can jump into the top view, and uh, right away we can hit T and start scaling this to whatever dimensions we kind of want our ground floor plan to look like. So, let's do something like that. And we'll jump back into our perspective view and see that we've made that, made those changes. Um, let me go back down a little bit here. One of the cool things we can do is we can do the use the select tool uh, knife, and by holding shift on the keyboard, um, we can just drag and start making rooms. So you'll see in the perspective view, I just added what could be you know a back a back bedroom just by cutting across in the top view. Um, I could add maybe a, a an interesting sort of uh, corner office here and, the, and, and I'm gonna eventually put a door there but um, so now I've created that maybe I could even add a little little bathroom in the back corner there okay so very quickly I've already designed a little bit of a floor layout for what could be you know a simple apartment or something like that uh, but obviously it's just boxy so what do we do to make doors and windows well we have this whole door and window null object and we're simply going to take, um, in this case, just a simple rectangle. And we're going to slide it here, bring it out in front. Obviously, it's too big for our floor plan, so we're going to scale that down. And what we're going to do is bring it kind of close to the edge there. Still not doing anything. Go up here into your, um, up here and grab your rectangle, drop it under the hole and door, and now bring that right to the edge of the, of the wall, and you've got yourself an opening. <laughs> And we can move this around and, and, and we can even change the scale of it. Um, you'll see that there's a little gap there just because your floor height is five, four centimeters. But um, we can obviously go back in and really getting be getting more exact and making more exact cuts later. Um, so we can then take this rectangle and if we wanted to, we could uh, just duplicate it. And you see it disappears, but if you slide it over, it's actually still there. Um, so. You know, this is getting to be starting to see how easy this is, and this goes for any spline object. Um, we can grab an end side, let's say, and scale that down and put that there, and let's maybe drag that. Oop. And now we've got ourselves kind of an interesting looking window, bay window or something. I don't know. I could probably probably make more sense on the top level of a house. Um, so now we've got that and uh, then really it's just all about going in and, um, and starting to uh, starting to play with materialing but as you can see it's very easy to get going on building a house so I recommend you checking out the house builder tool in Cinema 4D R16 and post any questions if you have them thanks